Hey YouTube, welcome back to my channel. It's Nicole here. If you're new to my channel, welcome. What's up? If you already subscribed to my channel, good to see you again. Today, I am showing you guys what I packed for my breast lift and breast augmentation surgery here in Miami. So if you don't know, you're new to my channel. I do live in Ohio, so I had to travel here and I have to spend some days after my surgery here in Miami. I chose to stay at a recovery house instead of staying with a companion at a hotel. So I had to pack up some things that are gonna be needed for surgery and things I'm gonna need after my surgery. So if you're interested in getting a breast augmentation or a breast lift or a breast reduction, you will pretty much need these items. So this is a good video for you to watch. I did some research and I also had my pre-op appointment already. So based on those two factors, I did a pretty good job with having everything. I didn't need to purchase anything additional once I got to the surgical center. And I also did not need to go to Target or Walmart to pick up any last minute things. So definitely check this video out if you are going to have a breast lift or um, breast reduction or augmentation surgery because these items are going to be what you need to pack and I have some extra things too and if you have any tips or anything for people watching this video make sure you leave them in the comment section I want to hear from you um, what else you think someone would need for surgery if you've had a breast lift or breast augmentation surgery as well so I have my things laid out on the bed here. I'm going to show you my luggage. I did purchase new luggage for this procedure because I wanted to have something that was very small and compact that I didn't have to check into the airlines because I am going to be flying back by myself. So I wanted something very small, very compact. So I'm going to leave a link to um, my luggage in the description box that I purchased off Amazon. And if you want to see these items, then make sure you stick around for this video. So here's the luggage that I purchased from Amazon. It is a two-piece carry-on travel set. It was only $40 and it's by the brand Rockland. This sits directly on the handles to the carrier. This is a roller. It is not a spin luggage, but this will definitely get you through security and onto your plane without having to check any bags. I also bought a little clutch purse so I was able to get on the plane with these the three items. My husband did travel with me so he put the GoPro camera bag inside of his backpack so he will be taking this back with him. They had different styles to choose from, so I'm definitely going to leave the link for you below. I thought this was perfect for a little getaway for a surgery. And I'm going to take everything out of the luggage and out of the bag and show you guys what I brought. I have everything laid out on the bed with everything that I packed and I put everything in order so it'll be easy to follow. I'm gonna start over here. Most of these items to the left were in my small carry-on bag that I showed you. So I did pack a little bit of makeup. I would recommend packing a little makeup because you may wanna go out the night before your surgery. You may want to go out to dinner, or if you want to take a couple of pictures while you're feeling better in the recovery house, then you'll have a little bit of makeup. I did bring minimum makeup. I bought a couple of lipsticks some concealer, I brought some foundation, some lip gloss, eyebrow pencil, I bought my little brush to clean my eyelashes. This is a fiction book, I am watching you. I just basically searched some good fiction books that were crime thriller genre on Amazon and this came up as a bestseller. So I'm looking forward to reading this if I get bored. I purchased some Perel disinfectant wipes just in case I need to wipe something down while I'm traveling or if I go somewhere. I purchased some makeup wipes. I bought some rose gold face mask and some 14 karat gold, 24 karat gold 
under eye pads in case I am up to doing a little mask while I'm just laying around recovering at the recovery house. You do have to shower with antibacterial soap, so I picked up some Dow soap. So I have a bar of Dow soap there. I have some feminine wipes, some body beauty cream, very small travel size I picked up from the Dollar Tree, some earplugs in case the house is loud while I'm trying to take a nap or sleep at night. Definitely good to always have on hand. I have some headphones for my laptop some chewing gum i purchased this face cleaning brush from dollar tree i actually really like this it's a really small it's not as big and bulky as some of the other face wash brushes and i thought it was perfect for traveling i did use it today and it's a very good quality so definitely check out one of those if you like to use the brushes to wash your face it's very very small and compact to pack I also picked up a body watch sponge. I packed my small little travel flat irons in here that I got from Christmas. I brought my Louis Vuitton sunglasses because this is Miami, this is South Beach, so definitely sunny here and I do need my sunglasses. So I also purchased these zip up bras from Amazon, I will leave the link in the description box. Ladies, if you forget to bring your surgical bras after your surgery, you will be paying quite a bit of money at the surgical center for these type of bras. At my surgical center, they had bras that use clamps to close. I do not personally like using clamps. I think they're difficult, especially if you have nails. So definitely pick up your zip up bras and bring them with you because you will need them after surgery at my particular surgical center the bras were about fifty dollars for two in a pack so definitely you want to get your bras ahead of time i brought my under armor mask my husband bought me from the under armor store it's really nice and thick and protective but I also did pack some disposable masks as well. I purchased these little containers off Amazon and I put my edge control in here. I have my little wax stick for my hair. I purchased a little small deodorant, easy to travel with and pack up. And I also brought toothpaste. I brought my electric toothbrush. I have a razor, comb and brush, and I bought my selfie stick in case I want to vlog on my cell phone or if I want to take a few pictures. I picked up a few of these fuzzy socks. These are very, very comfortable for recovery when you're just relaxing around the house. They have the little grips at the bottom, so these are definitely good for recovering after a surgery. Also, ladies, don't forget you will need your compression socks for surgery. So I will leave the link to these I purchased off Amazon. They're really cute. They're pink. They were only $9. And you will need these for sure. If you don't have them, you will have to purchase them at the surgical center. I did pack some eye mask. I do sleep very good with these on my eyes. They're very relaxing. So if I'm having trouble sleeping, I would definitely go to these. I have a little hair scrunchie. I packed up all button down night shirts. These are perfect for the breast augmentation surgery because you don't want to lift things over your head. I am going to leave a link to this video in the description box because you can see how these nightgowns fit and I have the links to them in the description box. I did a try on haul video for these nightgowns. So definitely check out that video if you want more details about those nightgowns. I packed a couple of pajama pants to wear if I'm cold to wear underneath my night shirts. I have a little velour zip up hoodie. 
I am definitely going to wear this for surgery because when you come out of surgery, you are not allowed to put anything over your head. So you definitely want to make sure you pack a loose fitting zip up hoodie or some sort of zip up sweater to have for your surgery. I also purchased this little two piece set. I got this from Fashion Nova. I did a Fashion Nova haul video featuring this jogging suit. I will leave a link to that video as well if you want more details about this jogging suit. But it's super cute and fashionable, but definitely appropriate for surgery because again, this is a zip hoodie, so it's gonna be very comfortable to travel in. I have some underwear, just some comfortable underwear to have during my recovery stay. Also ladies, again, I can't stress enough how the button and the zip up tops are important. So I did pack an additional top here that buttons down. Last but not least, very important to me, I'm sure you ladies will appreciate this. Definitely make sure you pack up your robe. This is gonna be very cozy, very much needed if you're in pain. You have your pajamas on, you might be a little chilly. Definitely definitely can snuggle and cuddle with your bathrobe. I did get this from Walmart. It was $19.99. It is extremely soft, very, very lightweight, yet it's still warm. It's not one of those thick robes that's gonna have you sweating around the house. So definitely check out Walmart. If I can find the link to this robe, I will leave it in the description box. I have my Mac book because I will be doing some work. I will be doing some things related to my YouTube channel so I wanted to make sure I packed up my laptop and obviously I have my GoPro which is what I'm using to film. So I hope you enjoy this packing video. I am looking forward to getting my surgery done today. I will be vlogging, I will be posting some more videos, a series of the process of getting the breast lift and getting the breast augmentation. So if you're interested in getting that procedure done as well, then make sure you subscribe to my channel and make sure you hit the bell button so you can get the notifications for when I post those videos. If you have any questions, make sure you leave them below. I will definitely get back to you. Don't forget, you can follow me on Instagram at Nicole the Scientist. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.